Hello, I'm Linda the Bra Lady, and today we are in my store on Lexington Avenue in New York City, and we're going to be talking about nursing bras, and we're also going to be talking about bras for women that are pregnant. This is Ginny, who is eight months pregnant, and she has on a soft cup bra. That means a bra without an underwire. The reason why you want to have this bra is because when you become engorged, you need a bra without a wire. Because wearing a bra with a wire, you have to make sure that the bra fits you perfectly. So th this is a bra without an underwire. It's great to sleep in. It's great when you're engorged. And it's also very good to take to the hospital. It's also extremely easy to unhook. You always want to make sure you have a bra that's very easy to unhook because you only have one arm when you're doing it. You should be sized for a nursing bra in your eighth month, seven and a half to eight months pregnant. That usually is the size that you're going to be. Once in a while, it's different, but 90% of the time, that will be your size. Now, if you want to know how to measure yourself, you want to measure yourself completely different than you would measure yourself if you weren't pregnant. You want to put the tape measure under your arm, and that's exactly what you are, is a 36. If you measure down here, you'll come out with something different because, of course, your stomach is big, so you can't measure there. So, Ginny is a 36, and then you want to take the tape measure, cross the largest part of your breast, and you come up with a certain number, which Ginny's is 40. So, from 36 to 40 is four sizes, so that's A, B, C, D. 90% of the time, it's correct, but there's always 10% of the time it is not correct. So make sure when you put the bra on that it actually feels comfortable, that you're not falling out the side, that you're not falling out the top, that you're not coming out the bottom, that everything seems to fit, that the wire encompasses the entire breast. Because if it doesn't, it doesn't fit properly. Now Ginny has an underwire, and if you see how it fits, her breast is completely in the wire and it completely goes around her breast, so it's supporting her. She's halfway between her shoulder and her elbow. In fact, she's even higher, which is good. You always want to be at least halfway between your shoulder and your elbow. When you drop down, it's too low. Either adjust the straps or adjust the back. And if you can't adjust the back anymore, then it's time to get a new bra. See, Ginny is starting out on the loosest hook, and as the bra gets older, she's gonna tighten it and bring it in. When it's all the way into the tightest hook, and it's starting to move up her back, and she's starting to sag in the cup, it's time to get new bras. That's usually about four or five months when you're nursing. The reason why you wanna wear an underwire is because it gives you really good support, and your breasts are the heaviest they're ever going to be in your life. So if you don't have a wire lifting them up, and they're gonna drop down. So you wanna make sure that this wire fits you absolutely perfect and that it's lifting you up. If it doesn't fit you perfect, you'll hear things like, you know, underwire bras can clog your milk ducts. That's very true if the bra doesn't fit properly. So you always wanna make sure that your underwires really fit right. Ladies, you do not wanna buy nursing bras when you're three or four months pregnant because first of all, they're not gonna last up until you're ready to nurse. And another thing is, your breasts are gonna get bigger. You wanna make sure that your nursing brows are saved for when you're nursing. So you wanna get them in your eighth month. When you first buy your nursing brows, you should buy five brows. Sometimes you wear two, three brows in one day, especially in the beginning of nursing. So you wanna make sure that you have enough brows. Jenny is eight months pregnant, and a lot of times, girls carry very high. Well, it really depends on whether you're gonna carry high or low, but if you carry high, you're gonna find that underwires are very, very uncomfortable. You can also wear a wire, but that's if you're carrying low and you don't find them to be bothering you. Uh, I find that a lot of girls in their eighth and ninth month like bras without wires. So you're gonna get a bra without a wire that gives a lot of support. This bra gives a lot of support. It has a padded strap, so it's very, very comfortable, and it has stretch to it. So if Ginny gets like a growth spurt, her, she won't be falling out of her bra, and it won't be, you know, killing her. But you wanna be measured for bras pretty regularly. As Soon as you realize that your bra isn't right, it's time to come back and get remeasured because you wanna make sure that you keep your breasts 
well taken care of while you're pregnant. Ginny, thank you so much for coming today. It's my pleasure. If you need any more help on how to fit yourself properly, you can go to our website, which is lindathebralady.com, and we also have a bra hotline. If you have a very difficult time fitting yourself, someone will help you. Thank you.